Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Man's Whiskey. I'm Bobby. Uh, guys, if you guys uh, joined me for uh, my last review in Virginia City uh, with my brother-in-law Derek, I appreciate it. Uh, that was a really fun review for me. Um, never had a guest reviewer before and uh, Derek did an awesome job. Um, really appreci appreciated him going with me on that trip. Uh, especially after having ACL surgery. So, uh, Derek, thank you again, buddy. And uh, looking forward to the next trip. So, here we are, guys. The next review here is going to be Clyde Mays, Alabama style. And uh, Clyde Mays, Alabama style, this is what they call the original uh, for uh, Clyde Mays. And uh, just a little recap on Clyde Mays, guys. He was a, a moonshiner in um, uh, Alabama who went to, he went to jail um, for doing his thing and uh, got out, you know, started making his whiskey again. And uh, finally, uh, after a lot of years, uh, Clyde Mays started making legal whiskey. And uh, what makes it special is the, uh, the apple that they uh, put into the uh, barrels during the aging process to give it that, uh, uh, you know, nice apple note and uh the alabama style guys this one here uh we've reviewed the the bourbon on here before but the alabama style uh and then the uh i believe there's one that's i'm not sure if it's bonded but there's one that's like a hundred proof that's uh really really appley uh tastes like fresh apples and um i'm still looking for that one but this one here the alabama style is uh it's a really good whiskey. This this one here, um, I bought on sale for twenty uh, twenty nine ninety nine, and uh, this is one of the uh, this is one of the whiskeys that I was very very um, happy with my purchase. Um, when I see Clyde Mays at a bar, um, I'm definitely trying it out because uh, I really enjoy the product. Um, it just it, for me, it's a good mix of stuff. Um, it's not too heavy. Um, yeah, 85 proof, I believe. Yeah, 85 proof. Um, sorry guys, the blinds are blowing in the wind. Um, it's not too heavy at 85 proof, but it's, uh, also not, uh, too light either. And, um, it's funny, uh, one of, uh, my viewers, subscribers, uh, Michael Howard. Michael, if you're out there, um, it's pretty funny that you, uh, posted on, uh, my Facebook page, the Working Man's Whiskey face, uh, Facebook page. Um, that you were drinking some Clyde Mays tonight uh, because I had this planned out as my next review. Um, not a whole lot left, guys, so I wanted to get the review in before uh, before it was gone. But Michael said he was uh, drinking some of the Clyde Mays bourbon and uh, made me want to get the review on here tonight. So uh, here we are. Not going to keep it too long, guys, because I'm going back and forth between the Warriors game and the Giants game. Um, but... Uh, Thought it was a good night for a review. Friday night, and uh, haven't had a whole lot of whiskey lately. I've been drinking uh, quite a bit of beer um, when I do drink. Um, you know, since uh, since I left Virginia City a couple weeks ago now, almost a couple weeks ago, I really haven't had much whiskey. So, um, thought it was a good time to get back into it and uh, tell you what I think about this one, guys. So, uh, let's see. So, again, this is uh, 85 proof. There's a little tag on the bottle here. Uh, it says it got a 93, 93 points at the uh, Ultimate Spirits Challenge. And uh, it's highly recommended, of course, at 93 out of 100. It says, uh, tasting notes, even with a robust nose of pecan pie and, uh, and warm leather, the richness of this uh, whiskey doesn't fully express itself until near the finish. When it does, spice gives way to green apple and vanilla bean for the uh, finale that is one for the ages. Remarkably well-rounded. Uh, and then um, it says cocktail recommendation, uh, whiskey sour. So uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we're not going to mix this up, of course, but uh, see what we got here, guys. All right. Not a big pour because, uh, again, I'm uh, watching some games and uh, I've got some family in town, so... Got to hang on with some family. So uh, keep this short and sweet, guys. So, uh, and this is, uh, if I didn't mention it already, uh, Clyde Mays Alabama style is uh, 
aged between six and seven years, as it says on their uh, website. So, uh, look at the color here. And it's a nice, uh, it's a nice medium amber, actually, guys. It's not, it's not really, really dark, but it's definitely a medium amber. Nice, uh, nice legs. Nice thick whiskey here, guys. Let's take a nose. And I definitely, definitely get that pecan pie they're talking about. Pecan, pecan, however you say it. Uh, but it's definitely there. Some good spice here, guys. Um, you know, not just rye spice, but um, almost an herbal thing going on here. Um, one thing that it's funny, you get funny little things in uh, different whiskeys. And uh, one thing that I get in this one here, if you guys have ever had like an herbal uh, cough drop, like a Ricola, and you know, just regular Ricola, um, that's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, a little bit of uh, herbalness, um, a little bit of. Um, like a whorehound note, uh, kind of the same sort of uh, whorehound note I get in um, Kessler. You know, you guys say what you want about Kessler. You know, yeah, it's got some grain neutral spirits in it, but um, but that whorehound note it has in it is uh, something that I really like. So uh, definitely getting that in here. Definitely getting a little bit of vanilla in there. Um, but the main things I'm getting, definitely, again, that... Uh, that kind of pecan pie note, um, you know, that herbal note, the vanilla, and uh, a little bit of wood as well, guys. So let's take a taste. Mm. And uh, that fruitiness, that apple, comes out more on the palate uh, than it does on the nose. You definitely get a little bit of uh, that orchard fruit, the uh, the apple there. Um, still that uh, that herbal note. Um, that pecan pie is still there, definitely. Um, but it's, this whiskey is nice and smooth. Um, it's got a unique taste. I mean, you guys taste this, um, and it's really hard to uh, to compare it to anything, really, because it's it's really unique. Um, so, as I said, guys, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I'll take one more sip, give it a score, and uh, that'll be that. Again, that whorehound note, um, just that herbal type note. Uh, really, really good, guys. Really smooth. Um, nothing harsh about this at all. Uh, I think, what was I reading? The, the, I think the, um, I think the mash bill, I want to say is, oh man, don't quote me on this. I think it's 50% corn, 30% uh, rye, and 15% mal uh, malted barley, uh, or 55% mm, corn, 55% uh, corn, 30% rye, and 15% malted barley. So, um, whatever they're doing, guys, it's, whether it's that apple infusion into the barrels, um, I don't, it just, it's got a really, really good taste to it. Um, and it's so simple, you know, this is, a uh, again, $29.99 for this bottle. I've seen Clyde Mays all the way up to about 35 or so around here, uh, but usually it's right around 30, um, you know, 32, 33, something like that. Um, really good stuff, guys. So if you can find Clyde Mays bourbon, Alabama style, uh, that hundred proof that I was talking about that I can't find, um, definitely try it out. Really, really good stuff. Um, I would give this, I'm going to give this an 85 out of a hundred. I think 85 is a really good score, uh, for this one. Nothing that I don't like about this, you know, I mean, um, <sighs> I feel like if the proofing was a little bit higher, uh, my score would be a little bit higher. Um, you know, it's it tastes fine, it tastes good. It doesn't taste too watered down, but um, if this was a little, you know, if everything was a little more kind of magnified, I think my score would go up a bit. So, um, 85 out of 100, guys, not a bad score. Uh, try it out if you can find it. 
Um, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I have a couple more uh, reviews lined up. I'm not sure when I'll get them on here. Uh, hopefully soon. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Facebook page, guys. As always, uh, leave comments. And um, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty good at about getting back to people. Um, I still need to get back to you guys about uh, my last review from Virginia City. I just haven't had a whole lot of time lately, but I, my plan is to get back on and uh, definitely answer some of the, uh, the comments. Um, so I look forward to talking to you guys soon and hope you have a great weekend. Till next time, cheers.